yeah. Howdy, folks. <laughs> Black Friday's coming. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's when to buy the man cave some more tools, you know, at great prices. And I was uh, over, went through Lowe's yesterday and uh, Home Depot and took a look at the uh, Black Friday sales because it's like all month long they do this Black Friday now ever since the, uh, <clears throat> seems like ever since the COVID thing hit, it was like, yeah, okay. And the uh, stores have been expanding and expanding this uh, whole idea of uh, Black Friday is now for the whole month. <laughs> you know? uh, we've got a special price on Black Friday. It'll be a video released. Uh, not sure how long it'll be, whatever, but it'll be Black Friday prices geared for specials on Friday for some 3D printers. So that'll be kind of cool. But in the meantime, I was wanting to look at uh, Black Friday stuff that you know you can buy. I always wait till Black Friday to buy my stuff. If I'm going to buy something, you know, middle of the road to major, I try to hold out for Black Fridays because that's when I'm going to get my obviously my best price. And I thought could probably suggest a few things to look at from low budget uh, gift type stuff or just stuff that you know you can pick it up. The best possible deal is going to be now. Uh, probably most of this month, uh, thanks to the big box stores. Also, uh, I. I did see some coupons from Harbor Freight, but they've expired already, so I'm not sure where Harbor Freight fits in with Black Friday. I uh, was also over at uh, Tractor Supply checking them. Saw some a few things in there, but it was really nothing to write home about. They had probably what they are considering their Black Friday deals. So let's, uh, let's take a look at some uh, ideas. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is start with this uh, sort of low budget uh, items. This is, you can get these at Lowe's. These are actually cobalt, as a matter of fact. And you're probably wondering what in God's name has he got there? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and I can't even remember how to put these things on. All right, here we go. And they wrap around the wrist like this. And you have, if you're reaching into a really tight area, you have lights. Yeah, two little headlights that will allow you to hold a screwdriver or a tool while you also look in there with your hand and you can see what you're working on. That's actually a pretty cool item. They last time I checked, they were somewhere around that $9.95 or something for the pair. So they're very inexpensive, but what an unusual item. Even like for the guy that has everything, I'll bet she doesn't have a set of these things, you know. And they, they got one for each hand, so you can go both hands lit up. And if you're working in a dark spot, like up underneath the dashboard of a car or alien spaceship or something, you know, uh, your hands, you'll be able to have the flashlights right on your hands and you can see right from your fingers, you know, what you're working on. So that's pretty good. And along that same line, this is the other item I, I picked out that I thought was, you know, useful for a bunch of reasons. I uh, bought this little headlight gear, which straps to your head and it has, uh, it will angle down that kind of thing, but it also has a really powerful beam and it has different modes and also it has that the red lights which i'm still not sure maybe if you want to scare somebody in halloween or I, I don't know but anyways the um this is something that i've used since i purchased them and i've used the headlight especially hundreds of times now up in the attic especially around the house but also working again in dark areas around the cars or any tools that i'm working on where it's dark I can get the headlight on and it allows me to see. So this is probably my first recommendation is to look at something like this. No sponsorship to Lowe's or these products or whatever. I'm just showing them to you. Uh, this particular one because this is what I consider to be low budget but a great gift for the, uh, even for some of these guys that have everything, uh, something like this can really blow their, blow their mind. So look on Black Friday, you'll find these at Lowe's. And they're at a, they're a really good price right now this month because of Black Friday. Let's move on to the next item. <laughs> for, the, for the second uh, possibility of buying gifts at Black Friday for the tool guy, the handy guy, the uh, workshop, the cave, man cave, whatever. Uh, these Hang on with me because I'm going to show you two different sets. But this is... Uh, my craftsman set from Sears is the last ones made in USA. After this, they, well, you know, craftsman kind of dwindled away. They, they exist now at Lowe's. They, they are, re, you know, revived again. And they have some terrific sets. They're like, I think they're 29 piece, 30 piece, that sort of thing. So, and 
what happens uh, over time, and my set, I have been really tight with it, is they seem to evaporate or disappear somehow, and certain ones go missing after a while, it's a broken set. And a lot of times I'll take the broken set in the past, and I would give them to like a local charity, a uh, Goodwill or something like that kind of store, and just let them, you know, get some money out of the screwdrivers. In the meantime, I would get a fresh set because it's very frustrating looking for one specific screwdriver out of a set and you can't find it anymore you know we've all been there you know but uh, there's two types of sets these days if you're working on cell phones computers uh, you know surround sound whatever it is small electronics anything like that you need a different set of screwdrivers you know the, the Craftsman Cobalt uh, DeWalt whatever set you're looking at won't cover it anymore the Ryobi same thing uh, they'll they'll do the nice work around the workshop in the man cave here most of the time, but a lot of times too, I get into computers or rebuilding something or even fixing, excuse me, even repairing a 3D printer or something. Uh, you need these really tiny specialty uh, screwdriver sets, and so I'm going to give you a link to where you can find iFixit. iFixit makes a great set of these small screwdriver sets that will get you through the, the cell phones, the computers, and I always keep that set in the office around me where if I have to work on the computer or something, I can pull that out and I have my screwdriver set there for that specific reason. And of course, these stay out in the garage with me. And like I said, I have really, really been uh, watching this set carefully to make sure they all come back. And I think I'm missing one or two already. Yeah, it's been quite a few years, but I think at least about maybe one or two are, are I don't know, gone, you know. But uh, there'll be a, uh, there should be a coupon code there for the uh, iFixit. It won't be cheap, okay? That's, uh, you know, this is, this I think is a nice middle budget area where if you want to spend around uh, $20 or maybe $30 or so, you can get a nice set of screwdrivers for the handyman and tell him to take the old set and just donate it or something because the uh, it's nice to have a fresh set sometimes that you can work out of. Uh, it just, it's just one of those things in life that I've had to replace a set, I guess three or four times in my lifetime, I have completely renovated a set of screwdrivers. So it's, you know, they should last you a lifetime, but they, they just, vanish you know i don't know what happens to them they just they leave and they don't come back you know so the uh, i fix it hopefully never because they uh, come with a nice uh set of pockets and everything so you can keep track of them and hopefully you'll never lose any of those and they should last you again a lifetime so that's my middle of the road choice okay and now let's go to the third possibility of spending cha-ching cha-ching yeah so for the Third item, and I'm trying to stay under $100, say, so, uh, and I looked around at the tools. There is so much that Black Friday offers at all, the, most of the stores. The, uh, I took a look at, uh, first one I took a look at was this uh, tractor supply. There's their website today, and as you can see, there's just, you know, there's nothing there. But uh, the other ones, at least Harbor Freight does show Black Friday. I didn't see any prices that were not uh, better than what the coupon in the past has been, so I'm not, I'm not feeling it there, Harbor Freight. Come on, you know. But um, and then uh, to pick out a power tool, uh, it was tough because you know there's just so much in, under $100 even that you can get into for power tools. So for an idea, I thought an oscillating saw, such as the one at Home Depot. That's a really good buy, I uh, really like, and, and Milwaukee's a good name. Uh, the other one, of course, over at Lowe's would be this one here, which would, uh, would be one of my choices. You know, like I, like I said, uh, it's really to stay under $100 and still look at a power tool per se, and something that maybe not everybody has, that's a nice gift, and that's an awesome saw. I've had uh, several of them through here in the last few years even, and I have been surprised how many times that thing has gotten me out of a jam, you know, <laughs> where you're trying to figure out how to cut it, and it's like, you know what, wait a minute, there's an oscillating saw. Let's see if, uh, you know, and sure enough, yeah, that thing can plunge cut. It can get into places to cut that just nothing else can. 
Anyways, uh, so that's our last choice on that on that matter. Uh, just keeping under 100 and trying to figure out something that might be a little odd that you know maybe the handyman don't have. You know, that's that's a tough tough walk sometimes. There's lots of selection, of course, at the Lowe's and the Home Depots. Next thing we need to do today, this is Thursday, and we do have a draw today. So I think that's what we're going to do is switch over to the draw for this. Uh, and again, I'll provide a link in the description below where you can find this at Banggood's. But uh, hopefully this will be here in time for Christmas. As, uh, it's a little bit more travel time, I guess, involved. But this is a great pocket hole jig. So we got the tickets all, all cut up. Whew. I mean, I'm... Several hundred uh, people put their names in, and they're from all over the place. So, a lot of a uh, lot of Texas in there again, and a lot of Canada, <laughs> and a few from each state, I think. So we're gonna mix the tickets up and get this out of here. Next Thursday, we're doing the draw for the Laser Master Three from Ortur. That uh, will probably be closed out, I'm thinking, Wednesday because we have filming schedule for Monday, Tuesday, and it looks like even Wednesday, and then Thursday, I'm going to eat until I can't walk anymore. That's, that's you know, turkey day. <laughs> Happy turkey day. And then uh, Friday, we're going to be posting a special video for uh, some Black Friday stuff for uh, a 3D, some 3D printer deals. So. That ought to be pretty cool too. It would be a short video, I think. I haven't got it all together just yet, but uh, let's, meantime, let's get this thing out of here. And I've got something else lined up, of course, but always. And let's see what we got. Oh, that's a big fatty ticket. Ooh. But let's see. Okay. Oh, wow. I think it was only like the second time this has ever happened, but it looks like Lonnie, and you are in Fredericksburg, Texas. What? Really? Okay. <laughs> That'd be the cheapest shipping I think I've had in a while. Well, other than that CNC machine we gave away earlier this year, the fellow actually drove here and picked it up, but, and he was from a town that had a, uh, had an odd name, Texas. It was, uh, mm, anyway, Lonnie in Fredericksburg, Texas. Congratulations, and you should have this. I'll just drive over and drop it at your house. I don't know where Fredericksburg, Texas is, but uh, we'll mail it out to you, and we'll get that out right away. And uh, congratulations, Lonnie. This, you're going to be, I think you're going to be really surprised when you see the quality of this kit. You're going to be like, wow, you know. Uh, I haven't checked with Banggood about the uh, screws and stuff. I imagine there is screws with it, but you'll probably end up having to go to Lowe's or someplace and look at the Craig pocket joints and buy their screws maybe later on. I don't know. That's you know that was something that uh, I wish we'd covered that better in detail, but I just we don't know. It's just an unknown. Anyway, Lonnie in Fredericksburg, Texas. I'll be darn. Okay. Wow. So that takes care of that. Now uh we've got another draw okay we can't do that draw until yeah because next thursday is the uh, laser master 3 giveaway that's a big one and then we also have we might have a new sponsor coming on board and if that's the case that's going to be a game changer too uh for the future and also we have, uh, I guess, Monday, I think, is going to be a good day for it, I hope. I was told to hold back till a certain date or something. We've got a really cool, inexpensive 3D printer that's going to make really fancy stuff. So that's going to be kind of cool. Meantime, I think we're going to close this out and just say, man, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. And please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell and try to get in on these draws where we review the stuff and we give it away. Uh, we've got a camera. I guess it will be giving away sometime in the next week or two. We'll be uh, posting that on another show. So, and I want to thank again everybody for, you know, filling out the tickets for you. Uh, there were hundreds from all over and it's great it just it just gives me that feeling a little bit of support there uh shout out to uh ken this week ken get that 3d printer up and running get it out of the box and set it up you will be amazed at what happens the uh there was a problem this week 
with uh, we were doing some Christmas display stuff here at the house and there was a problem with one of the displays and I took a look at it and the plastic was wrong so it was like you know what we'll measure it up we'll go to the 3d printer make a better one which we did and it works so I was like yes you know this is a sort of reason for a 3d printer around a house you just all of a sudden you like you know what I, I can just solve the problem <laughs> I'll just make something that works and get rid of theirs uh, let's see, I'll also shout out to Mr. James. He had mentioned, he'd showed the uh, clip or the piece that uh, Stumpy Nubs over there, woodworking, uh, took something from our show and, and showed it. And it was, you know, it was uh, just representing the, uh, the tough market that is with YouTube. So it was all good, it was understood. And uh, I did tell Stumpy Nubs that the Maple Le Toronto Maple Leafs uh, were gonna win the next hockey game or something, because I noticed he has the uh, cup sitting on his desk all the time, so <laughs> I, had to get, I had to get in on that. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I gotta get out of here. Hey, guys, girls, hey, over and out. <laughs>